Hello, hello. Mm, welcome to the stream. Let's do something different. Let's use battery for drums today. I never do that. shorter loop than this for the drums, so let's get second pattern going.
Looking for very dark drums. I'm trying to set it up kind of like a regular kit, so I'd like for that note to be what triggers this. Oh, I hitting the wrong one. Oh no, I lost my other kick. Uh, is there undo? Nope. I think it was one of the first that came up though, right? <clears throat> I sound different today? Like way too loud? Or what? Is that better? That's not, that's that's probably better. That looks better on my. Monitors. Is this any better? But it's not okay?
I like the bird too. It's kind of fun. the filters on uh, on chow tape to mess with this whenever I want stuff to not sound like it's filtered but like actually be filtered I find that chow tape does a great job of that it's got these really lovely 6 dB per octave filters off of them without sounding too obvious.
so bad. Okay, I'm on. It's just the limiter latency. Good try, Quinn. Jeopardy type beat. its own pattern just record something Terrible.
when I can get away with it, I really like this shattered glass audio saturator. A saturator. I think I just want a compressor. Maybe one with some saturation in it.
think something with some rhythm is maybe what needs to happen next. Just not going to acknowledge these comments from Mike. I know exactly what I want to do this with. I want to do this with something incredibly esoteric. Because I want to waste some time. Let's go. So. Uh, the best way to do that is, of course, to use reactor blocks. Coast low pass gate. So I'll just use that. And now I don't even need an ADSR. I can just I can just pluck it with the the gate. probably should care at least enough about
phase modulation. that with quite heavy slew onto the amount of pluck going on in this low pass gate. Said, I do think I want a regular old VCA. Which I th think I will place in between. press a key, I want it to actually... I basically I want on-offs from MIDI. And so... I also need an ADSR. Why not use the Monarch ADSR? gate into that, and then the output will control
pretty much this. Something like this. Might even end it a little early so that that line has less contouring. to be the same.
kind of nice for a secondary percussive layer. Take it. Something band passy, kind of floating around in the high mids. Be fun. I'm almost thinking like, uh, it's like choked wah guitar kind of vibes. Weird. I'm kind of really into that. We've got a feedback loop around a comb filter that's building up. Every time a new note is started, that 
that feedback gets dumped. And if I get like a track delay in there... Yeah, right, and then I'll just get some, like, note on random to mess with this. Maybe I'll saturate it. Or better yet, I'll frequency shift it way down. sensation that I want different effects on these. Like I want to be able to put uh, Oh, let's do let's do this. And then I'll do like that because I want to be able to put a delay. or something weird on the feedback. Yeah, there we go. It's weird enough. And then let's use our... final insert as just a utility so that we can... it too.
See you around, Mr. Mike. says to use slicer instead of slice X. I'm gonna try it. I always use slice X because I like having the filtering and everything in there. But maybe this is the way to go.
if I go and filter that myself.
Let's go ahead and save this because I'm going to start opening Novum and that sometimes crashes. So, script box. Have a down tempo box? Really? What if I flanged this? Yeah, kind of like that. Just a quick bit of mixer organization.
Sup, Mr. Rainer. Welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you in a bit. Labs is fantastic. It's a collection of free, um, free sample instruments. It's like a bunch of contact libraries that should cost quite a bit of money that just don't. It's lovely. One, th one problem that I've had for a bit is that these two bass parts are overlapping quite a lot. So, I'm going to use Track Spacer to fix that. I can pipe my electric bass signal into the other bass. Use track spacer. So just duck it out of the way. What's happening? That. 
that's the bit that I want to tune so that they exist nicely within each other. Sounds just about right to me. Now those aren't stepping on each other's toes as much. kind of track that I sometimes do mastering compression on. About a dB and a half. Up, up to like 2 dB. Of gain reduction. It's just kind of... Just very subtly glues everything together in a nice way. On really heavy groove-based tracks at slower BPMs, I find that often... Super, super low end of the 808 was kind of taking up quite a long time. I can't hear it on headphones. I noticed it in the waveform, that's why I decided to do the monitor check. I was looking at this big long. I was like, mm, let's make sure that's really what I want.
You know, I mean, why not? Let's start trying to make an arrangement. Thinking. So. Do it any kind of chronologically, and it should be starting with the bell pad and the drums. But I'm thinking I might even. Take a second to try out some other stuff with. I need one more pad. Just something that can hold a, a, like a high drone. That'll do. That's all I want. Just that forever. Okay, I take it back. I need something with a little bit more character than that. That'll do, I think.
figure out. Yeah, that's the one that causes the high drone. So if I take that out. I just got an idea for a very, very Tosca kind of a move. I think I can do this in D.Va pretty easily. Uh, I'm looking to take two roughly triangular waves and Give myself a And then if I put delay and reverb on that with quite a lot of feedback.
Yeah. If I just toss that in as a little effect. little fill there. that sample in the kit. Perfect.
Hmm, excuse me.
got any fun little effects I can toss in here. I wonder if there's anything in the jungle jungle I could steal. bit of this. If I put this through a big delay, that'll do what I want. No, there's delay in the original sample. I just want something a little darker. Yeah, that's gonna work. Which is eighth dotted, I think.
let's let's get a high pass that we can play with. Uh, is there a high pass in this? No, but there's band pass, which is almost as good. Uh, so. Ah, wait. Uh, no, I'm going to do it outside. It's too much work to do it in there. Uh, and I don't need it to go before the delay or anything. So. I'm just going to grab a volcano. Give me a high pass. Frequency, automate, and also link this to filter. See the, the band enable disable button. And I want, I think this, that should make it yeah, off, unless there's actually something happening. So let's figure out where this should sit. like this actually.
doing all right. Having fun making some down tempo. Not my usual genre, but it gives me the excuse to put giant delays on stuff, which is never a bad thing. How about yourself? FL gang. Separation of channel and track for life. feeling pretty close to done. Play through a couple more times, see if anything strikes me. visualizations. I know some people use a uh, Z game editor in FL to do that.
but it just doesn't seem like there's that many great tools for it, really. definitely helping the resonances. But maybe not so much of those. Yeah, there we go, that's perfect. Still resonant, but not unmasking as much. Usually, I am a drum and bass guy.
A lot of liquidity, a lot of UKF. And then I also like to bring in uh, more just like straight electronica kind of influences as well. Things like Image and Heap, things like Porter Robinson. I do very melodic. Since I've started streaming, I've been doing quite a lot of down tempo, quite a lot of ambient as well. Just because it's easy. <laughs> and I don't always show up with an idea of what I want to do for the day. It's a nice thing to kind of default to. I'm just not feeling super, super creative. Like, let's see, I think this is a reasonable example of the kind of stuff I'm more typically making. This happened last stream, correctly. To some kind of a bridge and then do roughly the same thing again and then be done. But yeah. days that I'm not feeling that energetic, I do this. Thank you. Yeah, we get a lot of variety here probably about half that, half other stuff.
Oh, sick. I started out producing, uh, more like mainstream, like state of trance type stuff back in the day. I've always enjoyed Infected Mushroom, but I hear that's kind of just the tip of the iceberg for side trance and go trance type stuff. I'll save and export that. I think that I am probably just about done for the day. Started kind of late, and I got some other stuff I gotta get around to today. So, as much fun as it has been to chill and vibe, I think I'll play it through one last time and head on out. Play through it one last time and cut the stream. Thanks for watching. Catch you for the next one.